that you are here today. Speak volumes that you want change. You are ready for change and you are ready to embrace what you have deserved for so long. I want you to think of this day as a very important day. This day will be etched in history as the genesis and the birth where teachers are no longer puppets. This day is to be remembered where teachers are no longer slaves. During the teacher's day, every single year, you go to these different districts. We have all of these ministers, the MLAs and the representatives of the government who will applaud the teachers that if there are no teachers, then there will be no minister. If there are no teachers, there will be no doctors. If there are no teachers, there will be no scientists. If there are no teachers, there will be no this, no that. But yet, we teachers will have to beg for what is our right. We made them. We made the people that are sitting on those chairs. But why do we have to beg from them? That is the question. Why do we have to beg from them? It is time that we change our perspective. We made them. We can also destroy them. But we have to be united. The strength of the ad hoc teachers in the state of Meghalaya is nearly 8,000. 8,000. Just imagine how great is our strength. The teachers who are correcting the board's exams in the secondary and higher secondary section, most of them are ad hoc teachers. The teachers who are the greatest sufferers are ad hoc teachers. The teachers who have to go and do the census, who have to go for the census training program, who have to go to this field to collect the data of the census, are the ad hoc teachers, my friends. We are doing everything that the government wants us to do, yet we are still beggars. We are the most important aspect of the teaching community. We are the most important set and group of teachers that is there in the state of Meghalaya. Yet, we are the ones who are suffering so much. We are not given the respect that we deserve. If we take a look at the state of Meghalaya in the last six years, that is from 2016. Post-2016, there has been great progress in the state of Meghalaya. Great progress. If we take a look at the taxi fare, it has gone from rupees 10 on an average to rupees 50. The taxi fare has increased five times. If you take a look at the budget that the government receives from the central government, it has multiplied in crores. It has multiplied in crores. Then if we move forward, a little bit forward, the minister in the MDA government Holds the Lamborghini Huracan, which is the first, the first, my dear friends, in Northeast. Very proud moment, very proud moment for the state of Meghalaya. Why? Because our minister owns this most expensive car in the entire Northeast. It is very optimistic, I must say, on his part. No roads. You go to Mauhati constituency. No roads. 
but a Lamborghini is there. A Lamborghini is there. Very optimistic, I must say. Very optimistic. However, if you take a look at the good roads that are there in Shillong, if you take a look at the roads in IGP and Secretariat, those roads are actually the places where the teachers walk on foot the most. Right from the SSE teachers to the high secondary, the lower primary, the secondary and the upper primary. We throng the streets of Secretariat every now and then to ask for what we deserve. That is actually the street where the Lamborghini should go. But instead, that is the street where the teachers have to walk on foot. How shameful is that? The most shameful thing that has ever happened to the state of Mikalia. The late SK Sun has brought to the assembly where he said, he asked the education minister, what about the deficitization of the adult teachers? This is what the education minister said. The education minister said, respected sir, in order to increase the pay of the ad hoc teachers, we need 500 crores more to increase the status of an ad hoc teacher to the status of a deficit teacher. Okay, 500 crores. If you talk in numbers, it sounds like a very big number to us. However, let me bring you another fact. It was only last year itself that a report came that the government of Meghalaya has returned, returned 5,242.30 crores. It has returned back to the central government in Delhi. Why? Because it does not have a utilization certificate. Now, what is this utilization certificate? In simple terms, the utilization certificate is like a receipt. If you buy something, you get a receipt. The Mikhaya government does not know how to spend the money. So instead of giving only 10% of that 5,000 crores, only 10% is what we need, 500 crores. It decided that it is better to return back to the center than to give it to the teachers. That is the kind of government that we have. Now every now and then the government has also showered its own grievances to the public stating that it does not have money. It does not have money. So today, on this day, I have come with a solution to the government. What is that solution to the government? Because you keep claiming you do not have money. Number one, cut down your stupid costs. Cut down your stupid costs. We do not need these stupid festivals that are happening every now and then. We do not need these festivals just like the Cherry Blossom Festival. I will state it here that the Cherry Blossom Festival is a stupid festival. The most stupid investment of the government of Meghalaya. Now I'll tell you why. The Cherry Blossom is not our festival. It does not represent the Khasi, the Garos or the Janjias. It represents the Japanese people who are not even from Meghalaya, let alone from our community. The Cherry Blossom Festival, he says that the Cherry Blossom Festival is actually an international festival, so it's bringing revenue from outside. If it is bringing revenue from outside, if it is getting a lot of revenue, then where is the money? If you are saying that the Cherry Blossom Festival is making money, then show us the money. Where is the money? 
Why do we have to go to the secretariat every now and then to beg? If you say that it is generating profit, there is no profit, zero profit. And what also came from the Cherry Blossom Festival, you have seen it is so ugly. Our own people are being beaten up outside the gate because they wanted, they wanted to enter the festival. It is not a festival of common man. It is a festival of the rich, the bourgeois, that is made for the rich, by the rich, and to the rich. We have nothing to do with that. So government of Meghalaya, I address to you directly, cut down your stupid costs. The second solution, the most important solution, that is employ people who knows how to work in the office, not some yes sir chumchas. Employ people who know how to work in the office. 5,242 crores have been returned to the central government again because why? I will not blame the minister. See, the ministers cannot do everything on its own. But it's the people who are actually working the office that are incompetent, that do not know how to work. So if that money is returned, it means the people that are working in your government, in your office, are not competent enough. Employ people who can work. Employ people who can know, who knows how to make a bill. And employ people that can work for the people, not for you. You are there in office for five years. Five years is a very long time. In five years you can do a lot of things. There are a certain set of teachers who are getting paid a lot. A lot for teaching one student. One student. Take a look at some of the government schools. I will not like to mention it where. But there are statistics. And if I have to prove, I will prove. <coughs> but I do not want to be too direct because it will also affect the other teachers. See, Meghalaya government, or Me government of Meghalaya, or whatever, however you like to be called. We here, we are not here to protest or to agitate against what you are giving to someone else. We are very happy when you are spending it for the people. But we are very unhappy when you forget us. In 2019, just like what Sir had said, right here on this very ground, you made a promise to meet us in November and to solve the problem of the ad hoc teachers. But till now, till now, we are still waiting. When will we see your pretty face, Mr. Chief Minister? When will we see your pretty face? We see you going to Manipur, to canvas elections. This is your state. Please do not forget. This is your state. You are accountable to this state. Yes, your party is now a national party, but this is your state. We the people here, we want to see you face to face. But you are nowhere to be found. Instead, we see you in Manipur. We see you in Arunachal Pradesh. We see you everywhere. But not with us. What I would like to also suggest to the Meghalaya government, spend some time with us. Spend some time with us. Try to manage a household with our income. I am not speaking for myself, but I am speaking for all the teachers who have a family. To all, I am speaking for all the teachers who have children to send to schools. But despite standing here as a high secondary teacher, I still agree to the demands where 18,000 is to be paid equally to all the ad hoc teachers and 5% of increment every single year. The reason why I agreed to that 
irrespective of the qualifications that we have or the differences in the qualifications that we have is because I am a teacher myself and I know how meager it is and I know that we as teachers should have one brand that is teacher that's it just teacher we are not including brand like Nike Adidas and then you go to all these other other brands we are not a brand we are teachers we are human beings we deserve to live to live with dignity and we deserve the right to our rights